812 on the morning news. A child-led education model is growing in popularity as an alternative homeschooling model during the pandemic. Unschooling is the idea a child learns based off their own interests rather than off a set of curriculum. For more details, we are joined by Unschooling Canada Association President Judy Arnell. Good morning to you, Judy. Good morning. Well, thanks for joining us once again. So this is within the, the homeschooling arena, if you will. But I, I want to, you know, get something, uh, you know, off my mind right away here. And if you can clear it up for me, this isn't the Wild West. The kids can't say, I want to learn about Xbox today. Is that right? Oh, uh, yes, they could. <laughs> well, they could. <laughs> okay, so how does it work exactly? So unschooling is a subset of home education. So it's um, empowering children to learn through everyday family and life activities. And because there's no motivation problems, kids actually soak up a lot of information about math, science, um, English language arts, and social studies through their activities. So, Judy, would they follow the same curriculum that other kids would, just learning in different ways? No. Um, in Alberta and most of the provinces across Canada, children do not have to follow a set, rigid government agenda. So, um, And it would be impossible to allow children to learn life through through following a government agenda. So they just follow, um, they just go about their daily routine and learn about things through whatever they do, through play, through um, baking, through travel, through field trips, those kinds of things. Judy, how can I tell if my child would be a good candidate for unschooling? Um, if they're pushing back against um, parents or you teaching them through home education, um, a lot of a lot of parents find that they have to bribe or punish their kids to do the work, the government work, and that's not the position they want to be. They don't feel that learning should be a coercive um, thing to impose on children. So if you empower kids to learn what they want to learn, it, it, it sinks in more, they remember more, they learn more. And interesting enough, all of what they learn actually does align with the government curriculum. And, um, yeah, they keep on learning topics. So this might be an option for parents who are thinking of keeping their kids home this year because of what's going on with COVID-19. Yes. Um, a lot of parents are home educating this year. And, and um, this really helps parents. They're going to hit, at some point, a wall where their kids don't want to do the work. And this empowers them to say, okay, well, we don't have to do this work. We can just learn through everyday activities. And if parents trust the process, they'll see that their kids learn way more and absorb way more than forcing a curriculum on them. And this doesn't mean that those kids won't go on to further education. You certainly know that from experience. <laughs> yeah, I wrote a book on it. <laughs> and um, five yeah. kids of your own. Yes, yes, and um, 25 of their friends, all unschooled anywhere from 3 to 12 years, and they all got accepted to post-secondary colleges and universities in their chosen program. Good stuff. Uh, you know, we appreciate the insight because I know that as a parent, and I think many parents out there are looking for their options, and uh, maybe unschooling is one of them. Thanks so much, Judy. Thank you. How do they get more details, Judy? Um, they can go to unschoolingcanada.ca and find out all information about this method of home education. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. That is Judy Arnell, Unschooling Canada Association President. It's coming up on 8-7.